Hey everyone, this is Nurse Ryan, and today we're going to go over some practice questions for antipsychotics as an introduction to pharmacology. In this quiz, we'll review some of the basics, including general information on schizophrenia, typical and atypical antipsychotics, extrapyramidal symptoms, and more. I'll walk you through the answers and rationales for each question. Starting off with question number one, which of the following is an example of a negative symptom of schizophrenia? And for each question, I'll leave a bit of a break where you can pause and think about the answer. So the answer here is A, flat affect. Negative symptoms of schizophrenia involve the lack of or the loss of certain capabilities and traits. Positive symptoms of schizophrenia involve the onset and acquisition of certain feelings, traits, and behaviors. Flat affect is a term used to describe a reduction in emotion or expression and is therefore a negative symptom of schizophrenia. B, C, and D are all examples of positive symptoms of schizophrenia. And question number two, Typical antipsychotics are also known as second-generation agents. And the answer here is B, false. Typical antipsychotics are also known as first-generation or conventional agents, while atypical antipsychotics are also known as second-generation agents. Moving on to question number three, schizophrenia is thought to be caused by... And the answer here is B, increased dopamine activity in the brain. The dopamine hypothesis of schizophrenia is a leading theory that suggests that increased dopamine increases the symptoms attributed to schizophrenia and psychosis. Question number four, which of the following is likely to have the highest incidence of extrapyramidal symptoms? The answer here is D, typical antipsychotics. Typical antipsychotics have the highest incidence of extrapyramidal symptoms. Non-conventional, second generation, and atypical antipsychotics all represent the same drugs which have fewer extrapyramidal symptoms. Question number five, tardive dyskinesia is... And the answer here is C, a movement disorder that is slow in onset and difficult to treat. This is a correct description of tardive dyskinesia. It is not A, a complex muscle tension disorder, or B, only experienced in the use of typical antipsychotics. It may be seen in both typical and atypical. Question number six, identify one of the major types of antipsychotic drugs. And the answer here is B, dopamine antagonists. Dopamine antagonists block dopamine receptors, which is thought to decrease the symptoms associated with schizophrenia and psychosis. Question number seven, for a first time psychotic episode, an atypical antipsychotic will be the more likely selection over a typical antipsychotic. And the answer here is A, true. Atypical antipsychotics are generally safer and are used as first-line treatment for psychotic episodes. If atypical antipsychotics do not relieve symptoms, typical antipsychotics are usually attempted afterwards. Moving on to question number eight, which of the following is a possible positive outcome in the use of depot injections? And the answer is D, both A and B are correct. Depot injections can A, increase compliance, largely due to B, requiring fewer doses when compared to oral tablets. Question number nine, typical antipsychotics are generally more effective for the treatment of negative symptoms rather than positive symptoms. And this is B, false. Typical antipsychotics are generally more effective in the treatment of positive symptoms, while atypical antipsychotics can be used to treat both positive and negative symptoms. And for our last question of this quiz, number 10, genetic predisposition is an example of a potential risk factor for schizophrenia. The right answer here is A, true. It is believed that there is a genetic predisposition to schizophrenia. And that's it for our antipsychotics quiz. If this video has helped you out, please consider leaving a like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. If you have any questions or would like me to review a specific drug or topic, please let me know in the comments and thanks for watching.